Paranoia is an RPG that originally came out back in the 80s at the height, uh, sort of around the, the Cold War sort of thing. And there was a lot of the, uh, the thinking that, you know, you'd have to run to the bunkers and hide and all this sort of thing, whilst the, um, uh, the, the big evils out in the world would uh, try and get you. Um, and Paranoia is basically a, a parody of that sort of mentality. Um, in this case, everyone did retreat into a place called Alpha Complex, and you are being viewed by, uh, you are looked after by Friend Computer. Friend Computer is your friend. He is there to help you. You are one of his troubleshooters. Your job will be to go out, find trouble, and shoot it. Preferably repeatedly. This trouble will include members of secret societies, of which none of you are a member of a secret society, are you? No. No, no, no. no um, and any mutants? Are there any mutants present? Uh, if there no, were, there would be shot on sight here. Yeah. Excellent, Absolutely. excellent. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to start, I'll uh, hand out some character sheets. So I'll explain these as we go. Um, you have got a character sheet there, a character sheet here, Thank you. and a character sheet for you, and, uh, oh yes, that one's yours. Thank you for choosing it. Thank you. Thank you, friend computer. <laughs> I can understand why you specifically wanted me to play. <laughs> 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 Thank for, you, friend computer. For people who can't see, Logan has been given a D and D character sheet. Uh, there's obviously something wrong with his clone. Um, there's nothing wrong they, with my clone. No, no, of course, no, absolutely not. That would be. Yes. That clone would be uh, terminated. I mean, yeah. Yes. I mean, I like the fact that my uh, obviously my troubleshooting name is Ba 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 Barbaran. I, I, so. <laughs> One, sorry. Uh, cause yes, I, I yes, because this is the first I'm the first one. one. Um, paranoia tends to be quite uh, shooty, zappy, and um, you are quite likely to get yourself or your other troubleshooters killed fairly quickly. Uh, to this end, you will have a six-pack of clones, uh, which, you know, will survive. Sure, they'll survive. Uh, see, the thing is, French computer, in my. It seems like in my. Information, at least we have a backpack. Uh, I have a backpack. Mm. Uh, I, 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 I have nothing to shoot. Mm -hmm. Well, I do have things to kill. Excellent, so excellent. I'll, I'll use those instead. I will be a trouble. It's the complete opposite to what I would like. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a trouble stabber. Excellent, okay. And we're a trouble hacker, because I uh, will be hacking them with a hand axe. So, Easy. we will be running a mission today that is known as Smocks. Um, this one is going to be highly amusing. I won't give too much away early on. Um, but to, to set the scene, um, it is another... Happy industrious day here in Chi sector, C H I sector, which is where you all live. Uh, you and the other troubleshooters have just been assigned to Team VAT 153K, but you have not been issued with a mission yet. Ah, our troubleshooter friend is here, Hello. obviously, probably on time. Um, as all troubleshooters are. As all troubleshooters are. Uh, and you will have a character sheet. You will have. You're definitely not a member of a secret society, and definitely not a mutant. Okay. That would be terrible. It, of course. Yeah. I've never played this game before. All mutants. That's right. fine. <laughs> and all members of secret societies are terrible. Okay. Well, I'm definitely not a secret No, definitely yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, you you have all just been assigned to Team VAT 153K. But you've not yet been given a mission. Uh, so you're just enjoy enjoying the local approved non offensive entertainment centers. Um, watching approved. Uh, the approved, oh. uh, local approved non offensive entertainment centers. 
um, watching classic episodes of Three's Mandatory or Vulture Squadron Go. That's my favourite one. I think so. Oh, Overwhelm. I like all of them. Three's um, Mandatory is more and, and would you care to elaborate why Vulture Squad Go is not your cup of tea, Citizen? Mm. You know, to be fair, they're both very good. Mm -hmm. I do really, I, I would really struggle to find the reason why. I think it was just the F in the freeze that I really prefer. Right. But otherwise, they're both wonderful. <laughs> I'd, I'd say one's my cup of tea, the other's my cup of coffee. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's a good example. Mm. Okay. Well, overall, it's not boring, that is for sure. Uh, the centre is also hosting a frosted spirulina cakes with extra potassium nitrate eating contest. Oh, lovely. Uh, the winner will get 100 XP points and a lovely suit of Tila O branded red armour. Oh, so that we can wear it. Exactly. So, uh, who is participating in the eating contest? Oh, because Frank Computer wants me to. I will absolutely do so. Excellent. Absolutely. Uh, there's, uh, there's just one s slight, um, I think there's an error, Frank Computer, unfortunate. Um, in my um, pack, I don't seem to have a writing utensil. No, no one is being issued writing utensils oh, this year. Okay, no worries then, Frank Computer. Thank you so much. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> 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 <You're just laughing>. <laughs> 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 last, last, last year, there were a number of writing utensils handed out which were part of Kickstarter exclusive rewards. Uh, but one of my players <laughs> got a little ahead of themselves oh. and um, <laughs> panicked. And because it said fuel rod on it, they thought it can't possibly be a fuel rod if it doesn't say fuel rod on it. And so said pencil was snapped in two. <gasps> Oh. And the fuel went everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, we were all saved thanks to a daring and brave fellow shooter. However, they were quickly ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> so, who oh. is partaking in the eating contest? I am. I you am. are? I will be partaking in the eating yes. contest. Yes, excellent. Frosting. You need one of those. Yeah, I yes. do like frosting. Excellent. Frosting. You get a dice. Anyone else? Uh, yes, I think that would be a wonderful idea. Thank you Brilliant. very much, friend computer. And uh, what about yourself? Well, my name appears to be Pooh, so yes. I, I think it's compulsory. Excellent, excellent. Who is participating? You, 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 well, you didn't exactly leap to join in, so you, you are, you, unfortunately you cannot um, partake, uh, and instead you get treason star. Treason. You get your first treason star. Mm. Congratulations. Sen sensible decision by. <laughs> yes, yes. Anyway, okay. I, I um, was waiting for the job of being able to shoot those who failed. Another task which would be required. <laughs> Very good. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. But for now, now. Um, when I say go, you're going to start rolling your dice, and once you've got. Uh, a, a, at least three, five or sixes, okay? Then I want you to put your hand up. The first person is going to win that prize, okay? On your marks, get set, go! Congratulations, sir, you have won 100 XP which you can, you'll be able to spend on various things, I'm sure. And you've also got a lovely branded suit of, um, uh, of Tila O branded armour. Tila O being a famous personality within Alpha Complex. Oh, so I'd like to push it on immediately. Well, uh, what's the uh, security rating on that, Frank Peter? What, you mean on the red armour? Uh, yes, it's red, okay. Mm. Yes, yes. Um, so, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are security clearances in Paranoia. Uh, you start at red clearance. Um, you are allowed to use anything that is red. Uh, if it is uh, orange, that is definitely a no-no. And it goes up through the spectrum. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, ultraviolet. Being the highest and obviously extremely treasonous to use anything that is not of your security clearance. Red so, well, 
As the contest comes to an end, you hear a polite cough from the doorway. And just outside the centre is a small infrared uh, citizen. That's the level below yours. They are, they are dressed all in black. Um, and they are lower than red clearance. Um, not to say that they're the, the scum of Alpha Complex, but they do get all the worst jobs. Um, but you can, you can see that there is a, uh, uh, an infrared citizen standing outside the door, covered in, covered in dirt and with a small metallic box uh, strapped to her throat. And she seems to be uh, muttering, troubleshooter mission alert, troubleshooter mission alert, over and over again, really fast. We are troubleshooters. We can help. Excellent. Excellent. Could be a mission. Mm -hmm. right. Seems like there's an alert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Seems to be. So, no, attention, no. troubleshooter team, VAT 153K. Please report to troubleshooter briefing room 7 out of 10 dot box recommend minimum mean for their patients who need improved recall for mission briefing. Do not forget, side effects may include spontaneous bleeding, uncontrolled voice volume, and lasers and armor. The briefing begins in many ways that it is the best way to quickly memorize text or important data without worrying about hacking in 15 minutes. This mission alert was brought to you by Meminamine, the natural way to force memorization. Stupid reds, they think they're all hot. Thank you very much. So that I'll follow you yes. guys. Well, we need to. We have we have a destination we need to go to, yeah. um, and that, that destination is seven out of ten. <laughs> seven out of ten. Um, so, uh, seeing as you have it memorized, would you like to lead us there? I think that's why yes. so you should all follow me. Um, I think that's sensible, and I. I step straight out of the door to head towards 7 out of 10. Mm. Excellent. In, uh, in recognition of your um, leadership yeah. skills. Ooh, I, I see the I see the books. <laughs> oh. Yes, these were the pencils. I really, I really, really <laughs> However, these. Slightly, slightly more... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Even an actual fuel filled <laughs> device. Was just uh, knowing rules is treason. <laughs> <laughs> the earlier versions of paranoia, knowing the rules, knowing the how to play the game, was treasonous. And anyone who had played before, hence the round of I've not played before at the start of the game. Never played. Um, yes, they, it could quite easily lose you your clone very oh, quickly. Yeah. So uh, to discover. it is. Uh, but if you would like to mark yourself down as the team leader. Congratulations. Yeah. Hello, we'll be watching your duties very carefully, team leader, to make sure mm -hmm. that oh, we can learn the, from the them. The pen definitely yeah. works perfectly as well, is it, right? Yeah. Is it? It's red. You can see in the writing there. Ah, yes. The, the word yeah, treason yeah. being read. Yes, the word treason. Wonderful. Very Thank good. you very much. So, um... Give it and take it away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's so, <laughs> where uh, where are you all heading? Towards the direction down the corridor. Towards seven out of ten. No, no, no. Okay. All right. So you 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 start heading off. But obviously, um, this being a briefing, you know you need to go to a briefing room. Mm. Um, and as you make your way down the corridor, you find that there is the area where the briefing room should be, and there is just one briefing room. It has a big number seven on the door. It seems to have been painted over a previous six. It might have been painted over a previous five. Um, okay, it looks like a three. Hmm, good to go, so, yes. So, you've heard this before the Chi Sector fan farm. The ceiling must be a hundred meters above you. On the left wall are a huge number of giant vents furiously pushing out air. And on the right wall are a series of fans likewise turning furiously, generating electricity simply by harnessing the power of forced air. 
Uh, pray, spring computer, and your betters for creating power out of literal thin air. Praise spring computer. And the fans. Uh, and the door think. to your briefing room is right below the closest fan, but is completely safe to enter. I, I say, oh, marvellous. I start heading towards that, and then I realise, and I start, I'll retie my legs. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, of course, if team leader is um, to tie his lace, I will make sure that the room itself is ready for him to enter. So I will approach past team leader, mm-hmm. heading towards the door, um, looking back to uh, just check if anyone is following. Uh, no, okay. I, I, much like the team leader, I'm making sure that my laces are tied. Yes. My laces do have a tendency to open, on, especially mm-hmm. ahead of briefing, so I will also be doing that. That is fair. Excellent. Anyone else making sure that the way why, is good for uh, team uh, leader? The troubleshooter, why are you going ahead of the team leader? Uh, troubleshooter, I'm making sure that the space is ready for him so we can learn better from him. Thank you, right. team member. Right. Okay. Okay. okay, so you have nominated yourself as the security officer. <laughs> Excellent, well done. <laughs> By taking the lead and seeking out that trouble. That's, that's wonderful, well done. Thank you very much. And so thank, thank you, you, friend computer. Excellent. And you, by checking the loyalty, you have nominated yourself as the loyalty, loyalty officer. officer. Thank you so much, friend computer. <laughs> as <laughs> always, there's fantastic choices, friend computer. So, so, so I, my, I have this new armour. Yes. I don't seem to have any laces on it. I'm, oh. I'm quite confused. Oh, uh, mission equipment will be issued momentarily. Okay. okay. I'm, I'm not sure where I should put laces. You, you have quite obviously nominated yourself as the equipment officer oh. there to make sure that everyone has all the relevant equipment and that you will, uh, you will be um, in charge of such, such designations. Yes, yes, exactly. Thank you. I would love to be the equipment officer. Good, that is good to hear. I'm good and glad to hear that. Mm. Yeah. Our equipment is in good hands. It's great. Yes. As, as you... Uh, as you enter the room, you see an older citizen sitting there, wearing a, a blue suit, oh. calmly waiting behind a podium. Yes, this is indeed a blue clearance citizen. It's quite high. Quite high. Quite high. Mm. Why, hello there, do come in. I'm your briefing officer, Muriel B. CZR. Nice to meet you. Now, if you can take your, your seat on that bench there, we could... Ah, blah, 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 blah. Absolutely. I can't wait to... Uh, Thank you, Muriel B.C. Uh, suddenly, they slump to one side, and standing behind him is a tall and rail-skinny indigo clearance citizen oh. with still-smoking indigo pistol in their hands. <gasps> he sees you all, and he says in a deep voice, mm. That man was a communist spy. Understood? Traitor. Understood, sir. Understood, sir. Well shot, sir. I terminated him to protect the admission. Agreed? Well Well, Agreed. 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 Excellent. Motions you all to sit down at the bench. Everyone sit down. Sit down. Excellent. Excellent. Good. I am Frederick I. Geo. Uh, Let's get this over with. I have a second lunch to get to. Uh, this mission is a tasty opportunity for your kind. Oh, and it's simple enough that you should be able to understand it. Mm. The Man Our Food Vat production facility in this sector is behind on their algae production for this quota. At this rate, they will never meet their five year goals, and food could be <coughs> scarce. That would not be good. No. You need to go there and figure out what's wrong with these infrared workers. Get them back on track to hit their targets and come back here for debriefing and maybe some dinner. Mm. Uh, could be supper, maybe dinner if you get done soon enough. But try not to terminate them. Each needs to be replaced and that is a waste of resources. Uh, before, you, uh, before you head over there, please report to the, the local R&D department to pick up your mission equipment. Yes, All right. yes, yes, Much sure. appreciated, sir. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. So, 
Um, off you go to. Uh, yeah. uh, I, I think. I think. Allow me to get the door for you, sir. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Get the door for our team leader. Well done. Well done. As as you're you're leaving, uh, you have a um, a large yellow arrow appear dead centre in your interface. Big yellow arrow. Um, arrow facing which direction? It seems to be pointing the way you need to go. This this is something that happens quite often to troubleshooters. You have specialist eyeball technology. As in letter eyeball technology. That you have been implanted with by the computer. Okay. Um, which links to your core tech in your brain. And the Cortec allows the computer to talk to you, send you mission updates, and provide helpful guidance as to which way you should be going through this helpful yellow arrow that takes up most of your vision. That's extremely helpful. Very helpful. And it knowing where to go. Uh, in the direction of the arrow. Do you, do you, should we not be waiting until the arrow's red? No, because Frank Computer has put it into our eyeballs. Ah, mm. of course. Yeah. yeah, of course. But uh, that, that, that seeking to understand, that definitely knocks you out as the science officer. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> well done. Well done. Congratulations. I am minus one in science. No, 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 no. Very much you are fantastic. I am feeling accomplished by this. You Thank should. you very much, well done. Frank Computer. You are quite welcome, citizen. And uh, that leaves one mandatory bonus duty remaining. Congratulations. You are the happiness officer. Make sure everyone is happy at every opportunity. Thank you, happiness thank you. officer, I'm and happy thank you, that friend you are computer. Happiness officer. Mm. That really brings me joy. That gives me the <laughs> best smiles. So happy you're here. <laughs> this is why we run it late at night when everyone is slightly <laughs> 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 unsure. <laughs> I'm only a little unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> it takes me like a second to forget the name you've just said. <laughs> not even going in. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm just going to give everyone a few action cards now. These are various random things that you might be able to do at some point. And we keep these to ourselves? Uh, yes, yes. They, they, have, they, have various, they have various abilities, things that you can do. You can use them to interject into a scene to do something. Um, as everyone understands that their cards can be extremely silly, and I really, really hope that someone got jam. So, you, I don't you even know what the words mean. <laughs> <laughs> um, good, I'm glad you don't, because otherwise that would be treason. Okay, <laughs> of course. Yeah, so I'm, I'm really glad that you don't know what they mean. Frankly, gibberish. Good, good, well done. Well done. Pure gibberish, Excellent, really? excellent. Does everyone know what they mean? What if we Anyone do? know? Oh, yes. Yes, I oh, understand. Then. Oh, treason. are you sure? Are you sure? I seems very treasonous. That seems like exactly that is what it means. As a security officer, I have been uh, making sure that you are all also within bounds by taking that step just a bit above, just to make sure. And I brought myself back down now, so I now you know that is. the team lead. I've forgotten how it is. I now know the team leader and everyone else here is safe. Okay. Because no one else stepped oh, wow. up so when you, I pretended to step. I feel like my cards just multiplied. I think mm -hmm. I only had three, and now I have five. Do they multiply? Yeah, As you hold? There are two on the table. You are the science officer. <laughs> you should tell us what has happened. <laughs> Excuse me, citizen. Are you saying that the actions that you have available to you have multiplied without your, your knowledge? Do you feel that this might have been the work of a mutant power? Clearly not. I clearly just didn't open the package correctly and 
I, fail to I read them. I don't know if that's mm. correct. That sounds Clearly. incredibly suspicious. Extremely suspect. I was trying so hard to understand the first two that I didn't see the other two were behind. Do you feel that it's some suspicion over the loyalty of our science? I do. I, I, under, I think there might be some defect with this clone. Front computer. Yes. There might be some defect with the, uh, the current mm -hmm. science officer's clone. I feel like they may have some sort of semblance of being able to duplicate things. I see. Okay. Citizen, please would you demonstrate your ability to duplicate items? Oh, I can't. You can't. And no. why is this? Because I can't duplicate items. You can't duplicate items. Yeah. Loyalty officer, why would you lie to friend computer like this? These kind of false accusations really breed disloyalty. We kind of the habits in the loyalty yeah. officer. No. In that case, I feel that someone needs to deal with the loyalty officer. Friend computer, please would you provide me with an instrument to terminate this loyalty officer? Have you not that been equipped sounds, with? That sounds like I am currently it. not equipped with any such That device. sounds like... You have not seen fit to give me any such You'd say, you say that the, that front computer is not seen fit? No, did... Whoa! Friend computer oh, did not see fit. That the active I participant know. was the friend computer. Friend computer, that... Friend computer, just just I request strong. your assistance in this job. I wonder, I wonder if the equipment officer might be able uh, to help. Do you, equipment officer, do you have any device I can... I, I wonder if I could... Uh, <laughs> Where's that box? No. <laughs> the whole box for it. <laughs> oh no. That'd be nice. Is that box? It's red. Box with <coughs> items in it. Not this one. Thank you, equipment officer. This is a, a marvellous and fast <laughs> acting resolution. Well, two arms. The box of items. Oh, oh God. God. yes. <laughs> Uh, let's have a look here. What okay. should so we use? Go I, I, I think we deserve better. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, your replacement yeah. player will be a superior. I, I feel wonderful. Like uh, that will do. Uh, thank you very much, equipment officer. Your requisition request has been accepted. Uh, please use these to deal with the uh, the traitors. <coughs> Very kind, okay. friend computer. <laughs> okay. <coughs> but um, would you like me to put those on, or would you like to do so? so um, well, I'm, I'm tempted to achieve this with them on him. Um, <laughs> I see. So, how, how do we, how do we um, guarantee that's going to happen? I don't think we can guarantee that. If, 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 we, if, we, if he succeeds, then it C it's right. I, feel, I feel like this is inspiring. <laughs> this just seems a high. I, Consulting with the specialists is the team leader's role. Oh, oh, oh. Equipment officer. Yeah. You have been given a pair of stompers mm -hmm. weighing 1.4 kilograms. Yes. If swung at a speed of 200 meters per second, yes. you will be able to terminate a clone. Oh. Uh, I'll if try you can, Yeah, if you can proceed and terminate this clone. Wonderful. Uh, uh, can I ask, what is your melee skill? My melee skill? Oh, zero. Zero. <laughs> okay. Can I play this? Uh, you probably can, yes. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, wonderful. Um, all the big yellow arrows suddenly disappear. Oh, no. And, and there, there appears to be just... Static coming from your Cortex devices. Oh dear! Oh, oh dear! Um, so, either way, you have been given how to use said stompers. Okay. So, um, I keep the first one. Wonderful. Okay. So, as you, <laughs> uh, what, uh, what, what is what is your what is your um, where is it? Uh, I need to look at this skill. Your violence skill oh, violent. at the top. The skill at the top. The top. Wonderful. You get one dice. Okay. One dice. Roll and see if you get a five or a six. I got a six. You got a six. You are on clone number two. <laughs> <laughs> this one's dead. You're on clone number two. <laughs> <laughs> Your aim is terrible. Oh, I'm sorry, computer. <laughs> <laughs> you, you appear to have terminated the wrong 
troubleshooter. However, it is all right because both were being accused of treason. So you have still succeeded. Um, Do we still have to get rid of this one now? Yes. Keep swinging. Okay, keep rolling. Uh, Another six? Uh, That's fair. That's that's warranted. I'm I'm back. And thus, you are on... An unexpected boon has occurred. (laughs) Oh. Oh. (laughs) Okay. While he was swinging, he glitched, I feel. As a science officer, I noticed something happened, and he dropped the device. Yeah, the boots. And boots. Mm. And they landed on his foot. Yeah. Causing him to be very disoriented and forgetting what he had started to do. Completely. So well, that's, that's well uh, I'm, I'm going to say hold off on that one. Okay. <laughs> As I do get GM veto. And it is far more fun <laughs> to terminate two crimes. I try, I try, I, I try. Am, I, um, my entire aim here is to try and get 36 <laughs> out of 36 clones. Yeah, that is um, fair. How many? You've all got six. Oh, okay. So, uh, currently... Okay, the rules of maths. So we're we're on that. two already, so oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Thank Ooh. you very much. If I might ask uh, for the happiness officer to just do a welfare check on one of us. Uh, well, one, two, three, four. There are four of you. You two will reappear in a moment. So, uh, sure, Joseph, how do you feel about the current situation? I think that Friend Computer has done a wonderful job in uh, lining out the uh, the traitors and having them dealt with. Oscar, I asked how you felt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. As we know, Fred Computer does not make mistakes. Of course not. And I am very happy with the situation. Very good. Science officer, how do you feel about the current situation? I agree. The outcome was most efficient. I'm going to. I'll start. <laughs> and I am happy. Excellent. Equipment officer, how do you feel that test went down? Um, you weren't here. No. Reasonably yeah. well. Uh, there's... These don't look like normal combat weapons, but it seems to work. I'm really happy, though, really happy with how it's all happened. That's the main thing that we need to, I need to, to impress on everyone. By the way, uh, you, you get this delivered to you. Oh, okay. uh, you have a equipment release form to fill out that you need to fill out in full. <laughs> Just be thankful it's not tricky. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> carrying on. I'm a lot less happy. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I'm not here. We're not here. Okay. We're just currently being uh, thrusted to for yep. a So, <laughs> you, you all finally follow the yellow arrow to continue the mission onwards, because we do only have a limited amount of time for the of mission, uh, where you get to a door marked R&D Research Lab Periwinkle. Uh, authorised personnel only. No bots, scram, seriously, go away. Uh, there's a speaker grill set in the middle of the door, along with a black button. Has so, our team leader returned yet? Not, not, not yet. yet. Not yet. Well, even in lieu of our team leader, as a security officer, it is my job to push the button and communicate first. Everyone, I'm sure, is happy with that, if the, officer would, the happiness officer would like to confirm. Yes, I believe that would be okay. very good. well documented, and we shall see the results of this button. Thank you very much. If everyone would like to take a step back, just in case. May I take two steps back? You may. Oh. I think that is fine. May I ask why you needed a second step, as opposed to the rest of us taking the one? I scientifically <laughs> denounced that two was the safest option for me to watch what was going on. Enough. It's not good for science. I shall continue if the happiness officer is happy. Very good. I'm going to push the black button. Excellent. Um, black button. Uh, it. Um, you, you push the button and it comes up. Uh, it just says, um, "You are not welcome here." Oh. Um. <laughs> 
need to get through this door somehow. Um. <clears throat> How are you going to get through this door? You know, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not here. I'm dead. I'm, I'm, I'm currently uh, flying through the house of complex in the speed of clone. I think it's fair to assume that the science officer and or equipment officer might be, uh, dare I say, equipped for this. I believe I have the very thing. Yes. <laughs> we'll find out. I have a party trick. A party trick? What <laughs> is your party trick? It is a paper clip. Yep. And an other device which I am not familiar with. Let's, let's, let's. Looks a little bit like an elastic band, but I don't okay. know what that one looks like. Mm -hmm. Um I realise that this is a dangerous situation, and it calls for an unusual application of my skills. I oh, would like okay. to make an attack, but pick a non-standard stat and skill. Would you like to okay. pick a card? Okay, yeah, no, that is perfectly fine. So, as your party trick, you can pick any of the skills and stats on your sheet in order to try and get through the door. I think, ah, which is my first mistake, so I will act on bureaucracy. Yes, yes. And? And charm. Bureaucracy and charm. What is the combined number of those two? Plus figures? five. Plus five. Excellent. You get these four dice. Thank you. And that one. Yeah. Uh, roll them and tell me how many fives and sixes you get. This is, this is the note, and... and that is one, you got this six. one six. Yeah, that is oh, a six. Oh, that's a six. six. I got oh, one no, six. no, no, no. Uh, that I, is a six. Or is that? Oh, that yes, it is a six. Yeah. That is indeed a six. That is the computer dice. So you have succeeded. However, friend computer would like to know, why are you trying to convince the door in order to open? Because that seems like the most scientific thing to do. Con talking to a door to convince it to open. Yes. An inanimate <laughs> object. <laughs> Citizen, do you have the ability to talk to inanimate objects? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> then, then, why did you believe that this course of action would work? I felt that it would had to be something extraordinary, something that it would not expect. Brute force would not work. Mm-hmm. So I thought I could outsmart the door. I see. Citizen, you appear to be imbuing inanimate objects with some semblance of personality and um, making things up. Is it time um, to <laughs> <laughs> I'm swinging them. <laughs> Okay, roll your dice. You said you're doing it? Two. Two. You, unfortunately, you do not manage to hit the science officer. Okay. Uh, your swing goes wide. It smacks into the, 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 the door. Um, the, there's something in the stompers that makes them stomp. They trigger in the air, and you just see the door just cave inwards. The door is now open. Oh, my. Clearly um, my inanimate object discussion worked. <laughs> <laughs> Waiting on the other side of the door are two identical clones of your team leader and your loyalty officer. I'm glad we'll make it. We, we have been waiting for a while. Oh, there's our, our, our old core. Uh, uh, the, uh, the other clones. Uh, I'm just going to go and get my... Uh, if that's okay, equipment officer, because I have equipment that's on my body. I think that's a okay. Uh, uh, equipment stuff. officer, sorry, uh, if it's okay if I do a quick security check on the previous I'll body to make sure? Go ahead. Okay, uh, we'll do a quick security check over the body to make sure that there is no communist propaganda or anything mm. amongst it all being hidden. Um, mm -hmm. Not that I would expect to see any, but I would also hope not to see any. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And at so first, seems... first, uh, first, I'll give it to the equipment officer to make sure that this is all absolutely yes. fine and accounted for, and then I'll have it. That is absolutely fine. Okay. okay. Whilst, whilst this is going on, we will move swiftly yes, onwards. Yes, uh, you, you go through the broken remains of the door, uh, and inside you find yourself in a large lab with the usual sort of laboratory trappings. Uh, beakers, bubbling liquids, a big sink, a jam soil closet, cold storage. More warning signs than, could, uh, than the inside of a fission reactor, and so on. Although you could fit around 40 people in here, you only see two. Uh, one is the head researcher, Jones IRGE, and the janitor, Joseph DME. Both have, uh, anyone who has trees and stars, you sort of see their name above their head and things like that. And you can quite clearly see, hovering above their heads, a trees and star. Both of these two have a single trees and star next door to their, their names. Uh, the quite large and muscular janitor holds onto his mop as if he'll need to use it as a weapon any minute. And uh, the Dr. Jones looks quite bored. Ah! You must be Team one, uh, that 153K, mm -hmm. says Dr. Jones. He's short, pale, even for Alpha Complex, and has long white hair. Fascinating! How did you get into my lab? We, we had improved security put in after a recent break-in that should have stopped you. No, no. Uh, How did you get in? Uh, the, the door there, the door opened in the lab there, but we were already inside. We were already inside. We, uh, we, we were delivered here by train computer. Sure you ah, ah, yes. 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 I, I heard the, uh, the boring of the drill machine delivering you too early. Yes, yes. Uh, but the, the, the rest of you, how, how did you get past security? I think it's a better question here, Doctor. Why were you impeding our mission in stopping us from entering this room? Give the task given us by Frank Computer. Ooh, that is also very, very, very. No, noting here that um, Dr. Dr. Jones is indigo clearance. But there is a treason sign above your head, no, Dr. Jones? Yes. <laughs> I, I may have had a run in with INSEC at some point. Uh, INSEC being internal security. Um, they, they a are very unhappiness officer. Exactly. Anyone can get one. Anyone can get one. But that, as interesting as it is, it is um, not well, not really. But you, you, you read things. You don't want to have us with the details. Mm. Exactly. You, you do I, I tend to have fragile. The, the door must have um, I don't actually know what a treason sign is. So, it, uh, uh, would you care to explain? Uh, so. Trees and stars are a indication given by the computer that someone has done something that was treasonous, but maybe extenuating circumstances, or you know, it just couldn't really be proven. It's just that um, you know, this person mm, you might want to watch them. Okay. One trees and star, keep an eye on them. Two trees and stars, um, well, you know. Keep both eyes on them. Mm -hmm. Keep both eyes on them. Three trees and stars, why haven't you terminated them yet? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. um, so, yes, be, be wary of getting trees and stars. Thank uh, you for the explanation. But, um, One, two, three. three four. Right, yeah. you are here for mission equipment, yes? Yes, yes? excellent, excellent. <laughs> janitor, janitor, go drag out right. that crate. <laughs> uh, that, that, that crate in the corner labelled uh, mission thingies. Mm -hmm. uh, and hand it out. Uh, so, uh, Frank Confucian, sorry, um, uh, Frank Confucian, you just explained that with three trees and stars, we really should have got on with the termination, and there are three trees and stars Doctor, Pre Janitor, and our happiness officer. Three trees and stars on one person? Oh, on one person. Ah, I'm so sorry. I don't know the rules, Frank Confucian. That character is You are our team leader, leader, though. I'd never commit treason by knowing the rules. Uh, yes, but also I would just like to say that the, uh, the team leader was making sure and, sh and ensuring clarity because we are only level red. Mm -hmm. Is that what ben. was happening? Or was the team leader by a chance manipulating the rules? No. Which you would need to know the rules in order to try and manipulate. It's more of a clarification. 
I don't know the rules, that's why I said it wrong. Excellent. Well, that does actually check out. Yeah. As security officer, I've checked this. The uh, janitor drags a large crate out, and uh, we will give these to the equipment officer. Of course. You, you have these, you get to hand them out as needed, when needed. Okay. okay? Kind of control the tissue. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of form. Oh, that's a lot of paperwork. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Please fill out the equipment requisition <laughs> release form. <laughs> and remember, you are responsible for all these pieces of equipment. All mine, and it will be looked after very well. I put the stompers on. Oh. Okay, all right. On, so, on where? So, Do you uh, them up? Once, once, uh, once you have been issued your gear, the, the doctor dismisses the janitor and uh, he leaves through the broken door. Um, and you all now uh, make your way through to the transit tubes uh, to make your way to the Man Our Food Vat Production Facility. Um, so. What they were making, the signs, signs behind the, the room? You, you can certainly ask, but it's most likely going to be above your security of clearance. Of course, of course. Forgive me. So, anyways, so you, you, you move to the transit tubes. They're, they're like an underground monorail system. You all get onto one of the carts, and off you go. Um, and as you're traveling along, you start to hear sort of uh, electrical buzzing, sparking, um, and then the lights go out. Mm -hmm. there we the go. lights go out, it is pitch black. No one can see anyone doing anything. Anyone could get away with anything whilst the lights are out. Is I the to miss, of I seem to be, I seem to be <laughs> missing some cards. I don't have as many. As I, I probably used. took one of yours. Yeah, that's because you used some. Uh, see, that was my previous club that used them. I did. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> they just keep killing you. Just, now. just who? Mm. Okay, that's fine. Um, that is from myself. That is from you. And who? Um, uh, loyalty officer. Loyalty officer, okay. And this, this is from? From me, yeah. Okay. Wonderful, okay. Um, that's, that's good. Any more for any more? Excellent. I'm inside of that. You're inside. Me, that's about that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Just. Just. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay. All right. No. No. Okay. All right. That's fine. We'll we'll we'll, we'll get some. We'll do some more out in a moment. Um. Okay. So. Um. In amongst the darkness. Um, you are hiding in your lucky vent. I found a lucky vent. Yes. That I have. I'm trying to explore it, yeah. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, your lucky vent happened to be the exhaust vent for <laughs> the incinerators. <laughs> um, which incinerates yourself and everyone else. Yeah. 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 Including... <laughs> The science officer. Okay. Yep, and um, the the happiness officer disappears in the puff of smoke. You did sneak attack the loyalty officer, but there's no evidence to it. Every, everyone is on a new clone. So, oh, I, think, yes. I think my equipment release forms also burnt up. <laughs> Excellent. Let's hope your mission equipment survived. 
Excellent. Uh, equipment officer, could we borrow the equipment of the pen quickly to update our clones? Thank you very much. Go on, then. Um, you can have a... What do we want to do? Our clone here oh, to be clone on now. Yeah, your clone to, number. I will pass this to our science officer. Oh, yeah, and I might as well give you some as well. Excellent. Um, you need another one? Yeah. So after, after a, uh, a short amount of time now, it was going to be a transit tube, but you're burnt up. Um, your clones are deposited at the station you're meant to arrive the blackened husk of the uh, um, cart turns up just moments later. Luckily, the R&D equipment seems to be okay at the moment. Yes, I will definitely scoop up all the bits and flake the ash off. Our curiosity equipment officer, could you describe the equipment to which you've been, that you've mishandled by being killed? <laughs> I think that that is a perfectly valid. Well, well, that, hey, to, be, to be fair, to be fair, this equipment officer didn't mishandle it. It was the previous yeah. 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 equipment officer, who has been terminated. Yes, yeah. has been terminated. Clearly. Yeah. Um, if it is okay with the team leader as well and everyone here, I would like to do a quick security check of the. Uh, Please proceed. Thank you very much. I would like to do a very quick uh, look over just to make sure everything is in order. Okay, um, so whilst you're looking around, the sight around you is breathtaking. Uh, from the doorway you're coming in, you see a cavernous room bigger than several fumble stadiums combined. Uh, giant metal vats are supported by thick girders that are arranged in rows and columns as far as you can see. Yes, yes. This is the algae production plant that makes your favourite brand of algae chips. Algae chips? Oh, that sounds good. They, 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 these <laughs> are specifically algae oh, no. jam. So, <laughs> algae <laughs> jam. <laughs> yes. Is there any vodka in that jam? <laughs> why would no. that be vodka? In that why, would it, why would they be alcohol? I, I don't know. I was just asking. Uh, as a science officer, I, I imagine you must be trying to figure out if there was any Scientific impurities. Ex experiment between the jam and the algae. Well, it's um, um, I, I, to make excuses I, for weird behavior. I see that as well, team leader. Uh, Frank Peter, that seems to be very suspicious. That they're just making it, excuses for every single thing the science it, officer it does, is doing. It does. However, there is a more pressing matter ahead of you. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. <laughs> is it um, jam? <laughs> No, no, it isn't. Uh, because it's jarred and that, ja that pressed? Uh, so normally you would find men on the many, many walkways that uh, surround every food vat would be lots of uh, infrared citizens scooping up, um, skimming the top of the, the algae jam. Um, but now up ahead, you can just see one big crowd of the infrareds. Uh, what, um, they seem to be standing around two big, tall, muscular people. Uh, one of them seems to be holding his hand high in the air, uh, while the other tries and fails to grab at it. You can't hear clearly, but they certainly sound excited as they cheer and shake their giant spoons at the ceiling. So... Uh, team leader, you'd like some uh, dangerous equipment. Thank you. Um, <coughs> team leader, shall I scout out ahead to make sure that your footing over to this uh, group is unimpeded? If you'd be so kind, and if you could um, give them an ocular pat down. I absolutely can. <laughs> I already have started. Wonderful. <laughs> as you as you move forwards... Mm -hmm. the, uh, oh, absolutely <laughs> equipment officer. As you, as you, as you move forwards... Oh, absolutely. Thank you so much. As you move forwards, you've noticed that you actually recognise the, uh, the infrared citizen standing in the centre of the cloud. I wonder who it could be. That would be the janitor oh. from the R&D department. Oh. And he's holding something in his hands. And the other person's trying to grab it. Oh. But, but the other person... The other person 
Is your briefing officer? What? Frederick I. He's there. What? What's he doing here? And, and I mean, you, you know, you, you've got the jatter trying to get something from your uh, um, briefing officer. Briefing officer. What, what colour is the age band? So uh, your briefing officer was indigo, yeah. and the, the janitor uh, was infrared, in yes. Oh. So uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to scream, uh, clearly identifying the communist attacking our briefing officer. Yep. Um, and I'm going to fire a grenade at Gogo at him. Oh, my God. Okay. All right. Um... So you're, you're attacking immediately? Uh, an, an infrared is, is tussling with a, uh, an indigo, and there is clear assistance needing required, and you know, Frederick Peter would obviously want me to. Wonderful, yeah. okay. So Especially you, as the. Can you, can you make the roll required to find out which uh, Grenada go go you, you set off? Uh, yes, yeah, so could you pass me one of the small D6s, please? Why, why one of those then? Those ones are clearly there in front of you. Uh, they are. Um, I just didn't think that this was requiring a computer dice specifically. It's almost as if you know exactly what a computer dice is for. <laughs> no, it just That's, That would be knowledge no, 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 of this, the rules. This just didn't say computer dice, so I didn't think it was uh, relevant. I, 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 I never knew what a computer I, dice I was. I wouldn't know what uh, a computer dice was. Uh, okay, There's well, a different dice? So I have a gauze. What, what do you have? Five or six is a gauze. A, a um, gauss. Gauss, sorry. Oh, gauss. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big old grenade. Okay. And what are you, what, who are you throwing this at? Uh, it firing it at, because it's sort of a grenade launcher thing, at the janitor. At the janitor. Excellent. Okay. Wonderful. Um, so you. Uh, Let's hope it's a ooh, small blast area. <laughs> you you fire the grenade go go mm -hmm. at the uh, at the briefing officer mm -hmm. um, who shouts, "Defend me against these commies!" before getting obliterated. Oh. No, fire at the janitor. No, no, I, I know what uh, I said. Cool, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, great, great. Yeah, no, excellent, excellent, fantastic. Be, uh, the, uh, the, ja the janitor, who, uh, um, he, he's, uh, he's there, and whatever he's holding in his hand, he drops. And uh, before getting obliterated by the Gauss grenade. So. Communist successfully eliminated. Well done. Excellent. Well done. All right. Well, oh, uh, I should also mention that in amongst your equipment that you were given, everyone has been issued with their standard um, <laughs> issue laser pistols. Oh. oh. Unfortunately, I've been. I believe that was on my previous standard issue. I believe my previous issue. Yeah. 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 An update for the equipment. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I hope you know. Who chose she not did. to tell us about I, the equipment that we had received? I do not have a laser. In addition, we have a laser. I also have a fantastic laser. Which he has compounded of issues that has happened with the previous car. Oh. <laughs> so good. I'm so happy to realise that. Excellent. Okay. Well, you've just fired on the infrareds, and they are now looking at you all. They have some rather large spoons, and they're looking at you all rather menacingly. Spoons. Yes, the ones they used to skin the top of the vats. Of course. Or for the jam. The, for the, 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 the algae jam. Yes. I'm going to step out in front of the group of security officer, armed to one side from our team captain. Sorry, sir. A team leader. A team, correct, sir. team leader, ever so sorry. Just want to make sure that if anything should happen here, that you are not the one in the way, but the security officer has the opportunity to um, assess the situation. Yes, please make use of this. Equipment officer, could you please um, sort out the paperwork for this transition? Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> and it's a requisitional form. It's so <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that's what the paperwork. <laughs> okay, so you, you step out in front and they start advancing on you menacingly. 
Um, is anyone else going to do something to these uh, these infrareds that are advancing on you? Uh, uh, yes, um, uh, citizens. If you do not, uh, if you if you do not halt your progress towards us, that will be considered treason, and we will act upon that. Infrareds, you have been free from the tyranny of a communist. Thank you for your participation. However, interfering with this mission would be considered treason. Actually, uh, please do listen to my treason officer. Uh, it's a loyalty officer. Loyalty officer, I'm yeah, so I, sorry. I would. You root out treason. Get them, comrades! And they like, start charging. I throw a javelin at one of them. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> For a <laughs> Excellent. Uh, would you mind making your uh, uh, what? What's your uh, skill in throw? Uh, it would be my strength score. Okay, so you get three dice for that one. Yes, yes, I do. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, you've, you need to give these to me, I fear. Thank you. So yeah, much. is that just dropping that? Would would a um, an AI bot designed to drill through, say, the metal of a bat liner and Plus the floor with the contents. Be reasonable. Uh, yes. In front of discharging mold. Um, I, I don't know about that, but certainly I think a bot designed to move said bats malfunctioning and dropping. Oh, that, oh yeah, yeah, yes. similar. So yeah. The, the bot that's transitioned but dropping, still in the. Yep, uh, excellent, okay. Everywhere. There's jam all over the floor. Jam everywhere. Uh, yeah. Luckily, it's red. Uh, except the thing is, though, is that I am um, going to do this as well. Oh. Wow, okay. <laughs> um, so. Things are slightly worse than expected. Uh, it is. Uh, so I rolled that. Slightly yeah. worse than expected. Um, <laughs> because. Oh, I was joking. I mean, you, 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 you've got. Can I make it better? Uh, not in this instance, I'm afraid, because <laughs> no, this is just. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! You, you. You throw the javelin, um, completely missing any of the infrareds, and hitting the bot <laughs> that is carrying the vat. Yes. The vat drops on the walkway, and you. Uh, it, but it was. It, it went robot, infrareds, us. <laughs> you just see the walkway just collapsing, infrareds falling into a pit. It was nice. slowly coming towards you very quickly. Can I have some uh, athletics rolls from everyone to try and get away? Can I try and uh, collapse the floor to stop the jam coming towards us? No, the floor's uh, collapsing. Though, though it's the floor that's collapsing already. So yes, absolutely, the floor it's, it's is exactly collapsing. The bat's like knocked down the wall. I want the jam to pour into the new hole. Oh, no, no, but that's it. It's like the wall is just collapsing at us. Oh, it's yeah. that, that's yeah. the threat rather than the jab, but we're, it's now happening Maybe faster. Yes, yeah. <laughs> it's happening a lot, lot faster. So um, you're beginning to. Uh, you can use any of these ones. Thank you. Uh, Frank, would you start? Yeah, you need I to roll the dice. And my athletics is two. Oh, so you need to roll that dose as well. I need to roll that dose as well. Yeah. Um, Four. So that's one success. Friend computer, um, I am unsure of how I'm meant to roll. I have an athletics of plus four. Oh. So you roll four dice. I do roll four dice. Yes. Yeah. I also am unsure. I have um, an athletics plus two. So you roll two dice. I have mine Tell me one. how many fives can and I, sixes. Can I use a small dice? Yes. Yeah, sure. I have Perfect. one five and one six. Okay. Five and Excellent. One four. Uh, so well, you need to one. you need to roll one die uh, one dice plus a computer dice. Um, yep. That's a one. And one of the computer dice as well, please. Excellent. Okay. You get zero. Um, so this. Uh, oh, do, would you need a second dice? Oh, you roll one. I've minus one. Minus one. So yeah, you get to roll one dice plus a computer dice. Computer dice is four. That's So you you get you get. Minus one. Okay. So you fall into the hole first, um, into the boiling jam. Uh, you're on your next clone. So you should be on clone number three now. Um, and you fall in next. You're on clone number three now. Excellent. Okay. Please provide our officer with a pen. Most appreciate. 
I'm afraid it's in the boiling jam. As am I. Thank you for your The rest of you manage. The rest of you manage to escape. Uh, I find a pie. Oh, I just I was. In the in the distance, as you, in the distance, as you're escaping, you can just hear some of the surviving infrareds uh, who have started uh, cheering, and uh, you can you can hear the revolution is at hand, comrades. Down with security clearance. Up with whatever is better. Uh, we'll figure that out later. I scream com- uh, communist again and fire wildly at them. Uh, okay. Roll. Okay. I, I yep. will say, uh, uh, guns, I'd have a blank. Excellent, okay. You fire wildly. You happen to hit one of them. They're wearing a, a rather fetching smock of some indeterminate colour. Um, and you see your laser bounce all the way down, hit that smock, and come ricocheting back at you. Straight at you, hitting you and wounding you. Wounding me. You um, are you are the wounded. Science officer, please kindly return the pen to our boss. Also, say this that upon my scrambling to get higher ground, uh, uh, it was much. acid, wasn't it? It was acid. Uh, yeah. Algae. It was algae. Uh, I algae had to, I had to take jam. off my shirt, yeah. but I'm still wearing red trousers. Okay. I had to take off. What college is for me? Was I was I hurt, injured, wounded? Uh, hurt. I am. I think it, uh, there's a big. Uh, group of the uh, yes. who have been screaming terrible things. Yes, yes. I think I do need to uh, grenade a go go. Okay. And yeah. I do, I'm not sure if I can add this into the equation, but I would like to if I can. I do believe it okay. is yes. necessary to deal with these these individuals the correct way. Excellent, okay. Um, could you tell me what I need to roll as I believe I've got a violence plus two? Yeah. I have a violence plus one here. Yeah, and then I have a gun of plus two. So is that just roll some dice? That is absolutely fine. Some dice. Would you like more? Is it <laughs> said, uh, your French producer said some. Um, yes, I. If okay, um, the loyalty officer believes I should. Um, um, could I also have that one as well? Oh, there's two dice. Two dice. Yes, I think it is best. As a security is... officer, I have determined this is necessary for the threat Thank against you. our friendly computer. Wow, there's a lot okay. of sixes and five. Congratulations. Uh, there is a massive explosion. No more infrareds can be heard uh, from over there. Um, however, that was an extremely large explosion. That's it. Um, and you, you are suspiciously alive afterwards, because I don't think you quite read the rest of that card. Oh, you? I did not read enough of that card. <laughs> friendly computer. You get two treason stars <laughs> oh, yeah. for being suspiciously alive oh, after such a large explosion. That was, uh, <sighs> unfortunately, a very large explosion. As a security officer, I have dealt security. Okay, yeah. moving, moving yeah. onwards. Oh, oh, no, you, you, okay. you are just trying to complete your mission. Your entire aim is to complete the mission. Of course. My aim is to kill you all. Right. Was that, was that, was that, was that, was that the DM or was that Frank? Well, yes, Frank. I mean, that was the DM. Oh, so. fantastic, okay, cool. Because Frank here wouldn't want to be out to kill us. No, no, not that unless it sense. was um, computers helpful traitor, to the future uh, of Alpha Computer. Which one you are expendable. Absolutely, absolutely. Yes. absolutely. Anyways, um, the rest of you who managed to survive that, uh, that who's going to uh, open theirs first? I think that I think the, science the officer, happiness the, officer is the most... I think the science officer is probably the most inquisitive. I would as well. I, I think that the science officer, mm-hmm. as this is a scientific thing, should be the one that is... I've done security, and I believe this to be correct. Thank you. Uh, okay. I, I, I did want to be the observer here. Ah, uh, unfortunately, that... You can observe really close to the one that's being used. What I can understand... Can you uh, roll one of those dots one of them. One of the key things. Okay. From scientific theory. <laughs> right. Um, you 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 open one of the uh, the boxes um, and release the compound inside. Uh, unfortunately, this was not the correct G nine compound. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, uh, not. No. Um, you you. Box and run away. 
Yeah, um, well, you, you'd certainly like to do that, yeah. except this, this is one of the failed versions of the compounds. Um, it, 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 unfortunately, it, it solves the problem of not being able to see in grayscale or, or by, by making you not able to see. You are all now blind. Which of the other two boxes are you going to open? The one that was in his hand. Excellent. Which one? Which hand was that? Excellent. Um, you managed to crack open the the other box. It takes a little bit of faffing around. You managed to crack it open, and but you find you are able to see again after a few minutes. Helpful. More to the point, you're able to see that the vial you have cracked open was green. Have we got our colour vision? Lord, That's the officer. Yes. Yeah, uh, I believe we have a task. Uh, we have uh, some, a red touching green contraband. That is uh, immediate treason and therefore should be executed. Security officer. Mm -hmm. For one person. After all, we are paying attention to it, particularly given the yeah, treason. Yes, so. yes uh, security officer. Things are happening because I need to oh. try to try to. Oh, you both just stop me now. You think that uh, yours was targeting the team leader, but it wasn't. It was a case of mistaken identity. I understand. And and you are you your colour vision fades, and you go back to the old grayscale. Great. Okay. okay. These are not blind. Uh, Bonus. Unfortunate. Uh, security officer. Yes. Uh, the uh, happiness officer has touched green. I, I, I think you know. To be honest, that's what my card was about. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to avoid that particular. Oh. <laughs> well, uh, amazing. Amazing. Friend, computer is never wrong. So yeah. with that, I hope you understand. But uh, if you could uh, put your hands up. Better. Thank you very much. And I will just start punching him in the face until he goes down. <laughs> and I do not have a weapon on me. You could not have a laser pistol. You have your laser pistol. Equipment officer. Anyway, I continue to punch him. He has a laser pistol. <laughs> okay. Uh, you are on your next clone after repeated multiple beatings. Um, uh, I would yes. like to remind you that blood is red. red. It is red and it is actually marking you as red. Thank you. Well done. You hope, you hope your blood is red. Uh, what colour is clone blood, then? I am confused. <laughs> I hope it's not blue. I hope it's not blue. It better not be blue. Where did he go? Oh. So I've got on my own glass again. <laughs> after, after, after a while and after clearing up the mess of this particular clone, you, uh, you make your way back to the briefing room uh, where Frederick I is there. <sighs> After that pear shake performance, there's no dinner for any of you. But I do have one to get to, so let's make this quick. I'm going to ask you a few questions. You must answer truthfully. Your cortex will tell me if you are lying to me. It can read your, your body language, your, your synaptic inputs, all that sort of thing. And will tell me if you have lied. So, first of all, what did you all do to get the infrared workers Back to working at the vats. Uh, we removed a communist leader and uh, made it clear to the infrared that they needed to press on his work. Excellent, all right. Um, and where is the nuclear device? Equipment officer, you can please answer that. Please do. I think it is a good question. Yes, yes, yes. 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 So uh, it's, it's somewhere safe. Good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Where? But. That is, that, that's not somewhere safe. That's not safe. safe. Did, you had one so responsibility. I Come feel, on. I feel well, that. Well, I, I did, I did um, look after it with my knife. Well, you, you, uh, you're, you're still here. here. You're still here. It well, seems no, very treasonous. I was going to say, I feel like would be with that the would be a designation of media termination. Who, 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 who? Who has ultimate responsibility for the nuke? The equipment officer. The equipment officer. officer. Uh, the, the equipment officer. Uh, the equipment officer. Uh, the 
Who would you like me to vote for? Team leader. Equipment, Equipment officer. Equipment officer Tiz. Uh, security officer, if you could please, this time using a pistol. I eliminate the two police as well. I'm just checking the security of the situation. Hands up. That doesn't feel like it's hands up. I hope you've got something to lose. Uh, yep, okay. Okay, um, I think... You, you're thinking this through. Uh, you, you, you're not going to be able to shoot for a little while. Meanwhile, moving on. Who deserves, who deserves a medal for releasing the counter-virus? Oh, uh, our happiness officer was the individual who released the counter-virus. I mean, I haven't Although, come back yet, as far as I know. Oh, have we, have oh, we wait, come to our happiness <laughs> officer on the walk back? Yes. So yeah, uh, our happiness officer was the one who uh, released the counter-virus. Of course, the uh, treasonous clone in particular was eliminated by our sensible and deeply thinking uh, security officer. Excellent. I'm assessing the situation, so good. And uh, and did did any of you manage to terminate the terrorist Big Joe, or did you let him escape? Uh, when we first arrived in the uh, back room, we did terminate the big Joe janitor. Excellent. All right. Well, you've managed to salvage something out of your poor performance. And the communists are now on the run. Good job. You have my personal thanks. And uh, as well as 200 XP apiece. Uh, you now have a new mission. It seems so many of Reds died in this mess. The food production has stopped. <clears throat> you need to head back down there and uh, sort this out. Um, if I may, I have assessed the situation and I have had a reconsidered on the matter. I do think a gun is too dangerous, so I will use my hand. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Thank you. I agree. On to another clone for you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot oh. risk him getting hold of my gun while trying to take him out. I'll oh, take your gun. Uh, as, 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 because much, the only uh, yes. as you're doing this, the doors to the room slam <laughs> shut. But I, I could shoot him if he's trying to punch me. You, you could, yeah. you could. But the doors to the room have slammed shut. Uh, you see a familiar grill and button on the wall. You are not welcome to leave. Uh, you will die of starvation here. Uh, <laughs> uh, just, sorry, just before we dismiss, would I be able to use that on the doctor just as he's like dismiss us? Oh, on um, your... Um, oh, is he a troubleshooter as well? I, he, just to feel the bit of an end. Yeah, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he, he, he starts turning into a hungry wolf. He does? Um, yes, yes, and he, he, well, you are the first to go. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> but that, that, is, that is the end of this session of Paranoia. You, really you are to, all to going to slowly starve to death in the briefing room. Oh, wait, no, that's well, nice. So I'm, Clone 6 isn't in the briefing room. <laughs> so Clone 5 is in the briefing room. I've still got two left. Unfortunately, there's one of these, and I'm going to shoot. Okay. What, blow, so blow, uh, blow, that's just going to go high. As I wait to start to tell. Af afterwards, <laughs> after everything is all said and done, and any clones that are remaining, you're probably on your final clone uh, right yes. now. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Well, now. I'm no. no. <laughs> I'm on my second. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, the screw you up to kill. Oh. Yeah. Well, you, 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 yeah, you, you were bait. However, well, so well, well, <laughs> um, can, can you just remind me? What colour dice did you roll? <laughs> <laughs> I did not have colour in my eyes. At Wait, the are time. you defective? So, no, there was a, a series of events that made, made you defective. Blind. Security officer, please. Along with the rest of the team. Moving to the Guns at time. So, when <laughs> You've done a good job. So, <laughs> I've been so and, uh, uh, exactly what dice did you roll? My role, and we've, we've always been using these dice. 
Like I say, at one point you did roll all the dice. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're gone as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've many <laughs> times. <laughs> That's heavy. That was the greatest of the That was paranoid. Uh, <laughs> and you also. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> why, why were you not wearing your clothes? Oh, the one that I forgot. So, when you, that, that killed one of, hurt one of my clothes, I forgot. What the uh, hell mine, am I supposed to do with these? Uh, Alex, uh, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Um, can, yes. I, can, I, can, I, can I just ask, what secret society were you a member of? Oh my God, we were all communists. Uh, communists. 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh, apart from... I, I, I would like to point out that those communists were members... You had a traitor amongst you. Oh. You had a member of an insect hidden. Uh, um, I'm computer, I just want, just want to quickly say, um, the equipment officer and the loyalty officer has eaten a non-red uh, wine gun, oh. which I kept for the end of this. Um, I did not fall for that one. I, I would like to say that the communist uprising was the ACCM, and so I'm quite glad they've been destroyed. I wish hey, you all had a second and was lost because I was going to uh, right. You know the moment where you... Let's... Oh, yeah, let's move on. Let's get on. Uh, the moment where...